Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to combine text join function with if function to conditionally join different texts together in Excel. Here in my Excel spreadsheet, uh, I have a table right here on the left hand side. And this table is going to be our uh, data source table. In this table, I have five columns. Module, category, process, uh, these three columns are going to be my categories and the values in action column is going to be another uh, category except that uh, those category names is going to uh, in the columns header and my group column is going to be my values that I want to uh, concat together to convert that into a single text and if we just look at the expect output for the first record uh, if we look at module HR claims category and rejection process and trigger action we're going to concatenate these two uh, values together into a single string. And I'm going to separate the text uh, using a pipe symbol. And if we look at the view column, and we're going to concatenate these five records together. And that gives us HR manager, HR training, employee, administrator, and HR manager. And I noticed that HR manager uh, actually shows up twice, but it's okay. And below are two more different examples. Right, so first you want to insert the main function, text join. If we look at the parameters, the first parameter is the delimiter. I'm going to uh, insert space, pipe, and space. And this is going to be the symbol I want to use to uh, separate different texts. The ignore empty parameter is asking, do you want to ignore empty cells? I'm going to say yes, so I'm going to insert two. And the text parameters are the texts that are or cells you want to join together. Instead of selecting my cells or my text, I'm going to insert the if function. For the logical test, I'm going to insert a pair of parentheses. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to select the cell range that I'm going to use to, uh, to do the validation. So I'm going to select cell A2 to A23 and press F4 to lock the cell reference. Insert equal sign. I'm going to point my uh, lookup value to cell G2. And since I don't want to shift the column one uh, out of field formula, so I'm going to insert a dollar symbol next to letter G. And this is going to be my first condition. Now I want to join another condition. So I'm going to insert a wildcard symbol, and that's the operator for N. And I'm going to insert another pair of parentheses. And this is going to be my second condition. And again, I'm going to select the cell range that I'm going to use to perform the validation. And it's going to be cell B2 to B23. And I'm going to press F4 to lock the cell reference and insert the equal sign. And I'm going to look out to the uh, category value. Instead of typing the dollar symbol manually, I'm going to press the F4 key three times. One, two, three. And that's going to automatically lock the column reference. Now I'm going to join another condition using the same method. So I'm going to insert another pair of parentheses. And this time I'm going to select the process cell range. Lock the cell reference, insert the equal sign. And I'm going to select my lookout value, which is going to be process. And I'm going to lock the cell reference, just the column. All right, so these three conditions are going to be my condition to look at module, category, and process. Now I need to insert another condition to look at the action values. And again, I'm going to insert another pair of parentheses. I'm going to select my action cell range. Lock the cell reference and insert the equal sign. And this time I'm going to select my column header. And it's going to be cell J1. I'm going to press F4 key two times. And that will only lock the row reference. So when we are uh, out of field formula, the row reference will stay the same. Only the column reference will update. Now we have all the conditions inserted. Now I'm going to insert a comma to finish uh, the logical test. For the value if two parameter, I'm going to select my group cell range. And because this is going to be my cell range that I want the value to return when the conditions are met. And again, I'm going to press F4 to lock the cell reference. I'm going to uh, insert empty string if the logical test fail. 
and close parenthesis, close parenthesis, and enter. Now if I auto fill the former to the right and all the way down, and we get the exact same result from the table below. All right, so this is everything I want to share in this video, and hopefully you guys found the video useful. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.